Today we're gonna to be reviewing and testing the Xi'an Weibo 3. This is the newest gimbal to come out of the Xi'an line, with its predecessor being the Weeble 2 in 2021. Gimbals are huge when it comes to filmmaking and having the right one can make or break the ease of use and the quality of your shots on each shoot you do. I use gimbals all the time in my line of work, from real estate to weddings and commercial work. My go-to gimbal at the moment and over the last year is the RS2 by DJI. So we will be putting the new Weeble 3 to the test and stacking it up against the RS2. I was sent the gimbal by Xi'an, but I'm not being paid to make this video. This will be an unbiased opinion on my thoughts of this gimbal's build and performance. We will go through its pros and cons and whether it will be ditching my RS2 for the new Weeble 3. Let's start out and talk about the price as this is always the biggest factor. The Xi'an Weeble 3 will come in at $449 for the standard kit and $529 for the combo kit. As I don't have the combo kit and it's not yet released, I don't have any more details of what that entails. Now let's talk about the build and features of the Weeble 3. The Weeble 3 comes in at a weight of 1.24 kilograms or 2.7 pounds compared to the Weeble 2, which is 1.5 kilograms or 3.3 pounds. And the RS2, which is 1.29 kilograms, or 2.86 pounds, making the Weeble slightly lighter than the RS2. But I'm not sure if it's a big enough difference for you to really notice. For the runtime, Shun is claiming 21 hours, which is pretty insane when compared to the Weeble 2 at a runtime of nine hours, and that's more than double. And the RS2 is 12 hours. I would take all these specs with a grain of salt as I've never had any battery last the length of the actual specs and always find myself running low or recharging my RS2 after a full shoot day. But if the Weeble 3 gets anywhere close to this, that will be a huge for my shoots and not worrying about running out of battery during a wedding or commercial shoot. The overall size of the Weeble 3 is much smaller and compact than the RS2 by comparing them side by side. The feel of the gimbal is that it's very solid and well constructed. I don't like the grip on the Weeble 3 as much as the RS2 because it feels a little less grippy and it has that weird texture feel compared to the more gel-like grab feel the RS2 handle has. The gimbal comes with a small screen on the back of the handle to help cycle through the menu and settings just like the RS2. What differs on this build is the forearm pad and the handle that comes built in with the Weeble 3. It takes a bit of getting used to when coming over from the RS2, but it actually gives you much more of a secure hold. And if you don't want to use them, you can easily remove them by unscrewing them from the body. Now where the gimbal gets really cool is on its built-in features. The Weeble 3 comes with a built-in microphone that you can hook up straight into your camera. It's noise canceling hi-fi cardio recording to be precise. While I'm always skeptical of built-in microphones, if this mic is any better than the one in your camera, this could be extremely helpful during weddings and with BTS shoots. Now, I would never use the microphone to replace any of my audio coming out of wedding or for BTS shoots, but I could see it being extremely helpful in a scenario where some dialogue is being said during the bride getting ready or loving words are being exchanged and instead of relying on your camera's microphone, you could be using this. The other cool feature is the built-in light right on the front of the gimbal. This light comes in at a brightness of 1000 lumens and you can adjust the color temperature. Again, I wouldn't use it to replace any of my lights, but in a run and gun scenario, having this built in could be extremely helpful when you just need some extra light on the dance floor or in a dark room. Lastly, Xion is saying that this is the 10th generation algorithm running on the Weeble 3. The retuned running curves precisely remove subtle shakes in footage, delivering a revolutionary stable performance. They don't have a specific weight and payload but assured me it can handle my R5 and heavier lenses that you put on it. My hunch is that the payload won't be as high as the RS2, but nowadays with mirrorless cameras, I don't see it reaching close to that weight anyways. It's all well and fun to make claims with these specs, but now let's put these gimbals to the test. Since we talked about its new features, let's start with those. We're going to test the built-in microphone at different distances while at the same time testing the internal mic on my R5 and my Sennheiser shotgun microphone. This is the audio test for the Weeble 3. And we're gonna be comparing the Weeble 3's internal microphone to the R5 just by itself that's sitting right there and my Sennheiser, which is a little bit more of an expensive microphone, shotgun microphone. And we're gonna be comparing all three of them right now as I'm talking. We're gonna see what it's like using the Weeble's internal microphone comparatively to the R5's internal microphone, just standard on the camera and then the more expensive Sennheiser shotgun microphone, which typically works a lot better when you're closer. We're about three feet away from our microphones. So I think the microphone has some potential and really love the idea of using it for vlogs, but I'd run it through Audition first to filter and adjust the noise. Right now I am testing it with a 35 
millimeter lens on as a vlogging camera just by clicking the buttons three times we're testing the audio and the light as i'm walking into different scenarios i don't know why i'm looking at the screen like i've never i have never vlogged before apparently now let's test out the built-in light we're going to turn off all the lights in my studio and see how well this light works i love this and was actually super surprised at how powerful it was we have it going against light shooting directly in the lens at one point and it gives just enough power to put detail back in the person's face. The drawbacks is that the light goes only from 2600 Kelvin to 5400 Kelvin. Other than that, this light can be super helpful in tricky situations. Now we're gonna run stabilization comparison shots. We ran both the Weeble 3 and the RS2 through the same exact shots with the same lenses and cameras, starting with the 35 millimeter, then switching to the 85 millimeter. Both gimbals seemed super solid when using them out in the field, and I couldn't tell much of a difference, but it wasn't until we reviewed the footage in studio that you could see a minor difference in the 35 millimeter footage of the Weeble, being more stable than the RS2. If you look in the background, you can tell there's less shake in the image of the 35 millimeter shots on the Weeble. Once we switched over to the 85, there's a huge difference between the RS2 and the Weeble. I was blown away with how steady the footage was on the Weeble compared to the RS2. You do have to keep in mind, I've had the RS2 for over a year and I have a bit of wear and tear on it. So everything might not be running as stable and smoothly as it was fresh out of the box. One thing I really do like about this is the forearm like little pad right here because I shoot a lot of weddings and doing something like this just to hold it, this forearm thing right here just is a lifesaver when it comes to that because what I typically do with my Ronin during a wedding is I kind of have to hold it like this and poke it into my belly, which works. But I mean, without that forearm right there, I mean, I can just hold it like this for pretty much a lot of the day. And I, I know that sounds silly, but when you are working weddings and stuff like that, and you don't want to have to turn it off and you're waiting for the next shot. You can just kind of just rest in your hands. I'm resting with one finger right now, like that. Pretty good. And then another thing I like is that it's really easy to go low like this, get into this mode. And then if I really want to come up during the shot too, which I was doing with Alex, I just went like this, like that. And I like that a lot. My final conclusion is that the Weeple has really impressed me. For the price and size, this gimbal has not only outperformed in many aspects, but its design is well thought out and innovative. I truly love the built-in light and can see myself using it in a lot of scenarios. I love the forearm rest and handle making it super easy to use and really comfortable. Where the gimbal falls short is the build quality. I feel the grip and locking mechanisms feel looser than the RS2 and overall not as sturdy, but that isn't a deal breaker, especially when comparing the shots and how much more stable the Weeble is over the RS2. Easily for weddings, BTS and certain commercial shoots, I can see myself choosing this over any other gimbal. The buttons and controls are a bit confusing for me, but I have been so used to DJI products that it'll take some time for my brain to adapt. Once I can dial in the settings of the Weeble 3, I think I'll be extremely happy with this gimbal as my go-to. I give this gimbal two thumbs up and say it's well worth the price. I hope you enjoyed this review. Stay tuned for more videos just like this. Please like, share, and subscribe. Until next time.